Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're going to be looking at Apollos. And there's many, many scriptures that we could look at. But let's just turn to Acts chapter 19. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper course, came to Ephesus, finding certain disciples, and he said to them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? They said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that, they should believe on him, should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when the Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about twelve. And he went into the synagogues and spoke boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But, Apollos met Priscilla and Aquila and he believed in John's baptism and they taught him a, a, a more fuller way and Paul met some of these John the Baptist followers and he told them a fuller way and that fuller way was being baptised in the Holy Spirit. If we are going to follow God we need to be full of the Holy Spirit. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians 12.13 1 Corinthians 12:13 For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body whether we are be Jews or Gentiles whether we be bond or free we have all made to drink one spirit We are of one spirit the Holy Spirit My friends I could go many many scriptures here but basically we cannot do the Christian life without the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to help us to walk the walk, to follow Jesus, to serve him. We need his help. Ask the Holy Spirit for help in your Christian life. Let the Holy Spirit teach you the word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you afresh today. Thank you for listening. We've come to the end now. What we've seen of Apollos is he put his education at the hands of, in the hands of God. We've seen Apollos was a humble man. And we've seen him as a man full of the Holy Spirit. My friend, may we be that kind of man to, and woman today. May God bless you. And may his face shine upon you today. God bless.